Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sal Plays The Third Age. Continuing on from where we last off. Firstly, apologies if you're noticing a difference in my voice. I seem to be coming down with the seasonal flu that is going around. So, you may notice that in the following videos. I will be resting my voice as much as I can, and hopefully beating this flu as quickly as possible. Right. See if we can't deal with more Balrogs. Balrogs? Sorry? Nazgul. You know, I'm going to just take. Mm, no. We'll continue on to that village and get the rest of them saved if there's anyone there still. And uh, do all some good old fashioned looting if there is not anybody there. Yeah, wildlings. Well, Hildman. Yeah. Ah, uh, time to give them the first wash they've had in weeks. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Well, you know what. Oh. Okay, it is definitely my, um... HDMI adapter for this then, so I'm going to have to order a new one over Christmas, I think. Alright, we're now going to delay two of these guys. And then start taking them apart. And seeing as the ranger has used so many action points, I should probably start with Fellowship's Grace. But, there's still one dude out there who can attack us, so we've got to get rid of him first. Nice. Now I can just take my time and pick these guys apart. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's good to get a new ability. Uh, apologies if my voice dropped out for a second there. It seems it went dead on OBS. Health. Alright, Berifor, you can continue to uh, make us much more powerful. What's this then? Reduce all spirit power damage to the group. Increase the odds of group hits and misses. That'll do. May as well. This is going to be essentially just mucking the points for his um, company ability, I suppose. Right, and oh, they are free from their crippled state, so it's time to get rid of them. Now, it's been a while since we've used one of your sword abilities, so let's try that for a change. Nice. Oh, I drill has a... There's an elven sword again. Oh yeah, I changed that up last episode, didn't I, for the Rohirrim one I had. Huh. Cool. Cool. 
Right, so that's where the story is next. So first things first, we're going to double back because uh, yep. yeah. If you guys have watched my uh, Fallen Order stream, uh, that was all done using my capture card, so that eliminated that as the potential problem. So I didn't get any of the issues that I've been getting with this. you so I'll have to uh, have a look at getting a new one the PlayStation 2 at some point soon because uh, uh. otherwise this is gonna keep happening <laughs> Yeah, I suppose that was revenge, wasn't it? We're going to take more damage this turn. Ah, he was not a hardy one, so he went down easy. Idriel's going to get a chance to use her good old healing abilities, but first... No, yep. That'll keep us going. Hmm. I wonder why that keeps on happening. Hopefully it's not done much to the recording, but we'll find out at the end of this episode. Slashing damage, that's good to know. Right. Might as well keep doing that. That's gonna mean we're better off for longer, we don't have to go to our health point. And I think Idril is gonna heal Egalos this time. I'm pretty sure I've just butchered his pronunciation. Uh, Ellie Gust, even. There we go, and now, Verifor, do what you're good at. Lovely. Oh, he's got gold chain on his armor now, I just realized. So there's the white tree being embossed on the front of it. Alright. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to get a bit more use out of this uh, HDMI adapter before it goes completely bust on me. Oop, never fight. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so there's a crest marker over here that I haven't used yet. I'm assuming this will be more riders of Rohan that I haven't gone and kicked and gone, oi, get to Helm's Deep. But we'll find out in a second. <coughs> oh, what do you know? Your force is needed. Ride to Helm's Deep. I do have to wonder if Gandalf had other people... Um, running about gathering up the Rohirrim, because uh, otherwise, well, the many thousands he raised, raised for the Battle of Helm's Deep wouldn't really be there much, would it? Ah, uh, great. You know what, I can put up with that. Ooh, Warcive. Yeah. Let's prepare to get nom 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 by some nasty little doggies. Right, I suppose uh, this will help quell some of the numbers of, or of the uh, 
the wargs that deal with Feyadun when he's travelling to Helm's Deep, so I suppose it's going to a good cause. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, doggy. When was your last bath? Because today is the day. Doggy did not like. Doggy bite. Mm. Well, we can't do much at the moment, so let's start buffing the, the group. If nothing else, it uh, will waste up his um, points and I'll get better and better abilities. I think I've got two more to unlock. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Uh, considering the amount of noise as well, I should probably drop down the sound a little bit. There we go. Oh, poor doggy. Uh, you know what? No, you're going to do another one, because, well, he can't do anything at the moment because of his abilities being locked. So, effectively, we are just skipping his go. I did not think Idriel would be able to kill him, but hey. There's always more where that came from. Okay, so uh, sound is set to the minimum level of the mic. That's standard, so yeah, oh, you should be able to hear me. Uh, hear me over this. Ooh. Alright, so the other path leads somewhere then. Well, let's see if there's any armor. No. I wonder if this is a shortcut then. I mean, well, it'd be a big danger if I don't. Oh no, more guys. Join with Aomir at Helm's Deep. War comes. I was on the west side of the war card. Cool. No. Oh, heading towards Edoras. Oh, let's have a look, see what's the other way. There's nothing. if that was a shortcut then. There's another way around this way. Yep. <coughs> Alright, let's take start taking these guys apart. Can't uh, paralyze any of them, so we may as well kill some of them. Nice. Now, oh, Dunlin currently arts. But only the tastiest of sheep herders. Alright. Let's paralyze one of these dudes. Uh, who's going next? Isn't it that him? Cool. 
You know what? I should have frenzied then. That would have solved this problem, but never mind. And Idriel, you get to have the special task of healing Elagost, because uh, otherwise he's going to die. Now we're just making him angry. So this is sort of like the reverse scene of uh, Boromir getting shot, isn't it? Hmm, probably should have healed Berifor, but never mind. <coughs> And our uh, Gondor uh, Rohirrin friend is slowly getting more experience, so she'll be more usable in combat once she catches up with the rest of them. Uh, yeah. Where are we going? There's still a quest marker in the village. Why? Ah, it's the other way. Okay, that's a bit weird. Well, we may as well have a look while we're here. So we've got a mix of dunlings and orchids. Naughty orchids, naughty orchids. Now I'm going to pay heed to that notion of orchids. And paralyse all of them. Oh no. Well, at least we stopped one of them, I suppose. And yeah, we're going to heal you because you're going to need it. Otherwise, you're really going to get hurt. I may have to up their stats again. Oop. Now he's trying to fire me. Excellent. Uh, yes, you know what? Haste of the elves. Hopefully he won't dodge out the way of this. This thought, is that going to work on him? Because he's a ranger, the character. Eh, probably not. But we'll uh, designate him as Alpha Pararis. Yep. Only works on melee. Whoops. While he's uh, currently frozen, we're going to do some healing. <laughs> healing complete. Wrath time. Although I suppose I should have gone. Close visor. Night time. Isn't that right, Squire? I'm not even sorry. Not at all. Alright, let's go see what that uh, 
marker is and then we'll skedaddle and uh, move on to Edoras where I think we've got to deal with an old friend of the fellowships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you need more constitution No, your problem is you can't. You're starting to not be able to hit things. So, up your speed and dex. Your spirit powers could probably do with some more power. Okay. But we'll get onto that later. You know what? When it finally comes time to use the dwarf in actual combat, properly. It's probably not going to be very good. Uh, pierce and slash. Might need to work on that. Alright. <coughs> Let's uh, continue on. Excuse me. Find out where this other marker is. Although I think this is back the way we came, so... Might not be a good idea to go back. Yeah, it is. That's the one we're missing. Mardus near the edge of Fangorn. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, there they are. I must have walked right past them. That's a lot, actually, as well. That'll come in handy at Helm's Deep. The entire area done. Right, so it's just the main quest in this area now, so yeah. Back to the bridge, and uh, we'll get crossing, and then I think once we've crossed, I will bring the episode to a close there. Um, so, considering the longer couple of live streams I've done in the past week or so. Um, let me know if you would prefer an episode format that's a bit longer than these. Obviously this is different to something like my um, Star Trek one, the Star Trek or Star Wars get ones I do where these are, you know, RPGs. Thanks to you, we warned all the riders we could. Our force must now gather for war. A great battle comes. We shall sweep the Uruks from our land. <coughs> Regroup your force, then drive on towards the Snowborn Bridge. Good luck. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, so if you want you me to do longer episodes, let me know. Because um, this is, you know, an RPG adventure I can stop at any point, so. It's not tied to any mission based stuff. So let me know what you think. And with that, let's find some more Orchids. Oh, maybe not. Oh well. Right, we'll drive on towards that bridge, and I have more new equipment I haven't put on yet, haven't I? Yeah, that's actually uh, better than what I currently have. Cool. Now, on the deep, I'll find some decent equipment for the dwarf as well, because I know that's where the hammer of Helm Hammerhand is. Sorry, the hammer of ha Helmed Hammerhand. Cool. 
Come on, Orcus. Come and fight me. Come and fight me, Orcus. Ah, you bought a friend. Well, sorry, but uh, your friend was not allowed. And you know what? You're both archers, so that won't work on you. So we'll paralyze your friends instead. Nice. Not so nice. No, oh, you need more dexterity. Ah, oh, one hit. Still good. Oh dear. <coughs> oh, we got one of them, so that's not bad. Oh, one must have just got lucky a lot. Nice. Alright, while we wait, we'll uh, get some healing done. Of course, more action points. Considering yeah, he's gonna get his attack back, thought so. I'll keep doing this as it will make us a bit hardier and stronger. Plus it will build up our points for future battles. Mm, I might have to use Arrow of Sleep on the um, goblins next time. Eh, I would have thought he might have got immunity to that by this point, but never mind. Right. Gift of Elrond. It's probably not going to fully heal you. Oh, never mind. So, in that case, uh, I think it's time to bring this battle to a close. Because we got a decent amount of action points and full health, so... I know there'll probably be a save point before we get to where we're going, but it's always good to be prepared. Plus, uh, I might still have some Morgul Decay left to use on them. Should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this episode's going to run a little bit longer. Until after we get over that bridge. Which I believe leads to Edoras. Uh, which we can't see here. Ooh, hello. I think we do eventually find the, um... I've forgotten her name, give me a second. Morwen's family at Helm's Deep, but I can't quite remember. Right. Yeah, there's going to be a fight on this bridge. Well, oh, only two orkies. And 
Sorry, okay, is it that? Well, and we have more. And more. Yep, did not think that would do much. This is gonna hurt a lot. Him. If we get any counter attacks now, I'm hoping it will kill them. It might not though. much harder than they look. But that would not have done them any good. Of course there's more. Yeah, I thought so. Oh no. Well, I guess I'll be bringing out the dwarf. If they survive. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to need him to delay these guys this turn, so it won't be the dwarf just yet. And now uh, we're going to prepare. Essentially, at this point, is a full heal spell. Uh, da, 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 yes. So they can't attack, but we can do damage to them. Ooh, dexterous. Hmm. Not so dexterous. I've got at least one more turn before that wears off, so... Who can believe that? <coughs> Excuse me. I probably shouldn't talk so much while this, but... Yeah. Uh, Gift of Elrond for you, because you're not as badly wounded. Didn't get a high probability on that this time then, so... Right. Company Valor, Company Knight. Alright, that should give us a bit of a heads up. And one last thing. Stand fast. Right, 
And that should give us enough to take these on without too much trouble. There's always one. Now right, let's paralyze him again. And kill his mate. Now he's all alone. Ah, but yeah, with all the buffs, that does make those spe that water spell really dangerous. Sorry, spirits spell. Ooh, new armor for the elf. The Idril, and I think we've got another fight at the end of this bridge, so... I'm just going to stat everybody up quickly. Yeah, can have a bit more dexterity, because you were missing a hell of a lot. And... Calm and Spirit. That's the one she uses for most of the rest of the game now. At least I can remember her wearing that at Helms. No. My family would have fled this way. <coughs> they did not strike for Edoras. They must mm. risk more dangerous white mountain paths. How can we find them in the midst of this? I suggest you locate one of their maps. Since you now prize the cause of these people over the elves. Because of one pretty face. Ah. Idriel's jealous. But also, she doesn't know the history between those two characters. Berifold knows the history. Idriel or Morwen does not know. <laughs> oh, look! A shadow chieftain. No. Oh, he's harder than he looks. Yep, yeah, and he's put my healer to sleep. Of course he did. Right, frenzy. Yep, yeah, I thought that might be the case. This is going to hurt. Right. We need to take that guy out because he's going to keep boosting up the others. Nice. And yes, just a regular bow attack on you. <coughs> Oh good, you're awake. Um, do we heal? No, let's take out. Let's start taking some of these guys out. Ooh, power of the Valinor. Or Valor. Hmm. Ooh, counter attack. Yeah, sorry mate, you've definitely got to go this time. Uh, can I get anything? No, okay. You. Ooh, two critical hits, not bad at all. <coughs> Will the elf be joining the ranger very soon or not? Well, if we're not careful, she will be. Right, time to bring out good old Hatholt. Yeah. 
Ooh, these guys get counterattacks. Oh, I have to keep that in mind. Nice. Well, uh, just like the other time, they get their mates to come and help them. I've not got the action points to use that yet, so I won't. <coughs> or is it because I just learned it? Right, let's uh, make the company a bit better at uh, resisting, shall we? Hmm. We're probably going to kill this one. Which means his mate's going to come forward. Yep, there we go. Just keep using your, your powers because uh, we want to make us tougher to fight any more that turn up after these two. I did actually think he's a. Uh, you know what? No. Let's, uh, let's actually put these guys down now. Oh, no mate, just come to help him. Right, okay, in that case, clean the wound. Shield and also an archive scout, but I wonder if that's any better than what we've already got. Oh no, never mind, helmet. Ooh, that looks like it's made with Meteora kind. Heal up before I think. All right, let's begin this battle. Excuse me. Then that will be the end of the episode, guys. It's been a bit of a long one today, so uh, consider that uh, my apology for not having any episodes out for the previous week. Got very busy last week. Plus also with the flu. Right. Uh, I don't really want to have to keep dealing with you all, so... Yeah. Let's weaken you all. And those two in the back are going to make it real difficult. 
in order to take out them. I'm going to need more range power. So, sorry, hard tug, but you know what that means? You're getting retired. Yep, and we're going to get an orc come up. Ah, two orcs. Suddenly, the uh, delaying abilities of this ranger have become even more useful. So if ever you play this game, take the ranger and invest heavily in his rangecraft skills. I'll do what I do sometimes when you're bored and you want to play the game but you don't record any episodes. Travel back to upgrade your abilities. More of because I think you guys would find me travelling back to be boring. Uh, what can I do? Get rid of one of the archers first. Get the feeling they're going to be really annoying if I leave them alone too long. And let's also take out that Auric if we can. Nice. And that's full health restored to the Ranger. Although he's got a crippling wound on him, so he's going to take damage each turn. That's what that uh, little icon above his head's for. Uh, you probably already know that, watching this so far. Right. You. I'm not sure the fight is going to last long enough for this to be effective, but the ranger needs more action points. No reinforcements, so I think this is going to be the end. Yep. No, I do have to say that about the Rohirrim sword. It has definitely been designed with horse combat in mind. There's not any over embellished guard to get in the way of doing, uh, you know, a proper. Mem proper swinging slash when you're on the back of a horse. So you can do that. Slash. Slash. Or even go for an underarm one way you can do it. You can go people at the side. I know you can't actually see me doing this because I don't have a webcam, but I'm actually doing the swing. You can do the overarm. Or the underarm, which, yeah, less power, I suppose. Yeah. Something to think about. Right, hopefully there's a save point over this side. There is not. So, we're going to skedaddle back to that save point, and, uh, yeah. If you like what you've seen, perhaps consider leaving a like, and maybe a comment down below about some of the stuff I've talked about, or generally how you think I did in this episode. And also, if you would like me to extend the length of these episodes, uh, I'm thinking around 15 minutes if I'm going to double the episode length, so about as long as this one, so this is probably going to be serving as the example piece. Um, 
if you haven't as well, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would as well, perhaps share this with your friends, share this around. Just gently to help the channel grow and uh, expand. Uh, if you do that, I'd also be very appreciative. Um, and if we do get to uh, 500 subs, I'll be doing another random t-shirt draw. Though, I think what I'll do with this one is using the YouTube community function, I'll put a poll out. Um, or just a, a question of who wants to be in that prize draw if they just comment down below. And when I actually put the post out, not on this video. And then um, you'll be entered into the draw. That way, those of you who actually want the merch uh, can get it. Especially if it's the limited edition stuff that I do for giveaways. Anyway, guys, that being said, take care and have a good day.